in any industry, there are companies that are growing and thriving, and then there are those that are struggling to keep up. In the space industry, SpaceX has been making consistent progress, steadily becoming the dominant player with its reusable rockets and cost-effective solutions. Meanwhile, United Launch Alliance, once a leader in reliable space launches, is facing increasing challenges and falling behind its competitors. The past couple of years have been particularly challenging for ULA. The company has dealt with repeated delays and technical issues, especially with its new Vulcan Centaur rocket. These problems have caused major disruptions, including failing to meet critical timelines for important U.S. Space Force missions. This latest setback has put ULA in an even more difficult position. In this video, we'll take a closer look at what's been going wrong for ULA, the details of its recent failures, and whether the company has a path to recovery. Before we get started, don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you can stay updated on the latest news and developments in the space industry. United Launch Alliance is facing significant challenges, and a key issue is the delay and technical problems surrounding its Vulcan Centaur rocket. Designed as a replacement for ULA's Legacy Atlas V and Delta IV rockets, Vulcan Centaur was intended to modernize the company's offerings while being more cost-effective. However, the rocket has encountered repeated setbacks that have disrupted ULA's operations and caused frustration among its customers particularly the U.S. government. The Vulcan Centaur was originally scheduled for its first flight several years ago. However, development delays and technical issues have pushed back the timeline repeatedly. One of the most recent and serious problems occurred earlier this year during ground testing. The rocket's upper stage exploded, exposing critical flaws in its design. This incident forced ULA to go back to the drawing board, delaying the rocket's first launch even further and highlighting deeper reliability concerns. The delays are not just a matter of missed timelines. They have a direct impact on national security. The U.S. Space Force depends on Vulcan Centaur to deploy critical military and national security satellites. These satellites are essential for communication, reconnaissance, and missile detection, all of which play a vital role in the U.S. defense infrastructure. Without timely launches, the Space Force risks gaps in its operational capabilities, leaving the U.S. vulnerable as adversaries like China and Russia continue to enhance their space programs. China, for example, has ramped up its satellite launches in recent years, focusing on advanced navigation, surveillance, and military communication systems. Russia, despite facing economic challenges, continues to prioritize military space initiatives, including satellites for missile warning and tracking. While ULA is struggling with delays, its primary competitor, SpaceX, has been delivering on its commitments consistently. For example, SpaceX has successfully launched multiple GPS-3 satellites for the U.S. Air Force and Space Force. In contrast, ULA's reliance on Blue Origin's BE-4 engines for Vulcan Centaur has created additional complications. Blue Origin a relatively new engine supplier, has faced significant production delays and technical challenges. This has slowed down Vulcan's development, creating a bottleneck in ULA's ability to deliver launches. The last major technical problem with Vulcan occurred during a flight readiness test earlier this year. While testing the rocket's upper stage Centaur 5, an explosion was triggered due to issues with the stage's pressurization system. This failure not only delayed the Vulcan program, but also raised questions about the robustness of its design. The explosion damaged test infrastructure, requiring additional time for repairs and investigations. This incident came after earlier delays caused by Blue Origin's late delivery of the BE-4 engines, compounding the program's troubles. The Centaur 5 upper stage is a crucial component of the Vulcan rocket. It is responsible for delivering payloads into precise orbits, often requiring complex maneuvers. The failure during testing indicated that there were deeper issues with the stage's pressurization and fuel management systems, which must be addressed before the rocket can be certified for operational flights. United Launch Alliance is not only facing technical problems, but also significant financial challenges. Over the past several years, the company's revenue has dropped substantially, signaling deeper issues beyond just delayed launches. For context, 
ULA's revenue was approximately $2.2 billion in 2018, but fell to $1.3 billion by 2022. For those of you who might not know, ULA is a joint venture formed by Boeing and Lockheed Martin. In response to these financial pressures, Boeing and Lockheed Martin have explored the possibility of selling ULA. Discussions have taken place with potential buyers, including Sierra Space. Reports suggest that a deal could value ULA between $2 billion and $3 billion. Among the potential buyers for United Launch Alliance, Blue Origin, founded by Jeff Bezos, stands out as a particularly interesting candidate. Blue Origin already supplies BE-4 engines for ULA's Vulcan Centaur rocket. Jeff Bezos has recently made significant financial moves that hint at his interest in acquiring ULA. In recent months, Bezos sold approximately $8.5 billion worth of Amazon stock, representing about 5% of his total holdings. While there are no confirmed values for the sale, speculation within the launch industry points to a potential valuation of ULA ranging between $2 billion and $3 billion. Some experts predict that SpaceX might consider acquiring ULA to prevent a potential alliance between Blue Origin and ULA, which could pose a competitive threat. Such a strategic move would not only eliminate a potential competitor, but also allow SpaceX to further solidify its dominance in the space launch market. However, current reports suggest that Blue Origin is the more likely buyer, with multiple trusted sources indicating ongoing discussions. And when you consider the speed at which SpaceX is moving, it's clear that they are already far ahead in the game, outperforming all their competitors combined in terms of both scale and efficiency. In 2021, SpaceX conducted 31 successful launches, showcasing its ability to maintain a consistent launch cadence. By 2022, the company nearly doubled that number, completing 61 launches, a clear sign of its growing capabilities and efficiency. In 2023, SpaceX reached an impressive milestone with 96 successful launches, demonstrating its ability to scale operations while maintaining reliability. So far in 2024, SpaceX has already conducted 124 launches. In comparison, United Launch Alliance and Blue Origin combined fall far short of these numbers. Since its establishment in 2006, ULA has completed over 155 missions, averaging about 10 launches per year. This steady yet relatively low number highlights ULA's struggles to scale its operations in the face of increasing competition. Blue Origin, primarily focused on suborbital flights with its new Shepard vehicle, has conducted only 22 flights since 2015, with its annual launch numbers being in the single digits. When you compare SpaceX's recent performance with the combined efforts of ULA and Blue Origin, the difference is stark. SpaceX's ability to conduct more launches in a single year than ULA and Blue Origin have managed together over several years underscores its dominance. That's all for today's video. Make sure to subscribe to our channel for future updates. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video.